All right, so we're back to working on the Massey Ferguson 65 carburetor. If you remember before, we rebuilt the carburetor a couple of times actually uh, using just cleaning the existing parts. And it worked for a while and then uh, it just stopped, get started acting worse and worse and then it stopped. And just to show you the spark plugs, it was running really rich. So it could be that it just carboned up to the point that uh, it doesn't work anymore. I haven't had a chance to clean the plugs and retry the carburetor because the parts are here. We know we need to get this carburetor running so we're going to change the carb and we're also going to change the petcock because I wasn't getting really good gas flow out. It's okay but I want it. This is all we got for instructions. It's a single page, double sided, tiny little picture in black and white and very difficult to see. Let's see, instructions that came with it. What I'd like to see with instructions, of course, is a much bigger, larger color picture. I'd like to see a parts list so that each part has a, a description and a, and a part number of some kind. And then it should list what the quantities are. That would be a standard procedure that, you know, should be the standard for the industry. Also, you know, they get lazy. It's a TSX model, so even though there's differences between the models, it's a TSX series, so they'll provide one instructions and say, well, your carburetor might have this or it might not. Come on, if it's a different carburetor, new instructions, please. A new throttle. Why I need that, I don't know how that affects the performance of the carburetor. Maybe it's something that wears out, I don't know. I'm disassembling the carburetor. Um, there's a little bit left, but the biggest thing that I noticed was the difference in the air jets. Uh, my air jet is really quite worn out compared to this one, the tip. Hopefully that helps. Well, what's really concerning me is that this kit did not include this bottom part, which is, I think it's the main jet and it's an expensive piece. It's like $65. You can see mine is uh, pretty rough shape. And, uh, install the throttle shaft, retainer, and packing in position. Then insert throttle plate. Well, what's a retainer and what, are, what is packing? There wasn't any on the old one. There's nothing new. I mean, I would assume that maybe this felt piece is packing somehow. It doesn't say anywhere. Throttle body. And they tell you in the instructions to change it. Well, don't. Don't do it, believe me. There's, I couldn't get it back together again and I had to actually take some um, compound and polish it all back in and wouldn't move. Couldn't get it reassembled. I finally got it reassembled using the old throttle body. I'll just put it back. Little needle goes down into the hole here and then that blocks the fuel off. So this one is pretty different from the old one. Level two, so I'm definitely not trying to adjust that to little flange. Good. Bracket air shutter plate. Well, there isn't even one in the picture, and there's, again, no parts list. So we have no idea what they're talking about. Air shutter. So it only really has two adjustment screws. This is the air mix screw, and this is the main jet screw. Now, I know I have a damaged main jet, main power screw here but uh, hopefully uh, at least I can get the damn thing idling. So the, that's your idle adjustment. All it is is a, a throttle position, right? Notice it's not even touching and there's all this loose play in the linkage. So I did some more electrical work. 
put a new ignition switch on because it was I know that was shorting a bit on the lights and I added a switch for turning the lights on and uh, put a voltage gauge on there which I find is a lot more useful than an amp gauge and the amp gauge I can't use it anymore because this amp gauge is only up to 30 well with that alternator on there it produces up to 60 amps so it'll just these brand new spark plugs that I got at yesterday's tractor from their auto light they're all bad they none of them worked so. uh, there's not any instructions but I saw in another video that uh, normally on another on a, on a carburetor like a Marvel Chevrolet there's usually a little gasket and of course without the parts lists and the instructions didn't include that there is a gas so I decided to pull this back out again this air mix needle after putting it in to have a look see if I scored the tip of it because there's the old one that I noticed originally <laughs> So we heard before the engine was doing what's called surging, so to check that's supposed to mean that it's starving for fuel. Really good fuel flow, it's got a new uh, pet caulking strainer bowl, brand new, and it has good flow before. <laughs> somehow but it's not from the fuel line system well we know the fuel line size is buying at a quarter inch so because coming out of the new strainer that's all the size it has anyway so taking this main jet out the bottom as usual nothing's ever easy right somebody's brazed this and there's supposed to be three holes but two are clogged with brazing. It looks like maybe it was cracked and they wanted to repair it, keep it from falling apart. There's another theory though. This is supposed to be pointy and it goes up in this way and it's just flattened right off. So um, <clears throat> these are the only two things left that I can play with. Obviously, I should replace this, but that would take a long time because I'd have to. So, I added another hole here. It shouldn't affect the integrity. <laughs> not the air mix or that so that just leaves the flow pole so let's have a look at the flow pole which we this is why you sure wouldn't want to use gasket material and shape huh tempting to see if that's what the problem is but I'm going to do one thing at a time so fuel uh, I don't have a solution I don't have an next step as far as I know so um, I'm gonna try driving it around for a while and see if it gets any better I think it's strong enough that it can actually be driven now and I've hooked up a water temperature sensor because that one was dead <laughs> 